This video is designed to help you start a cattle farming business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a cattle farming business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful cattle farming business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Starting a cattle farm begins with building a budget and understanding the costs of raising beef cattle and feeder steer. Expenses to consider include acquiring the animals, the cost of animal care, purchasing the right equipment, cattle feed, pasture management, employing staff. Ranching requires a lot of capital, and profit margins are narrow, especially at the beginning. Many producers start small and grow their business over time, as they gain experience and financial flexibility. Research potential income. In general, ranchers are raising cows for two reasons, cow-calf production, and feedlot production. Cow-calf operations breed herds to produce offspring every year. Feedlot operations raise cows to market weight, and sell them for processing into beef. There are variations in both of these sectors, and some ranches operate in both fields. Small and new cow farms are well positioned to fill niche markets. For example, demand continues to rise for products like natural, organic, source verified, and grass fed beef, that is easily sold direct to consumer or at local farmers' markets. Needed assets Raising cows and the assets needed to start a cattle farm can be broken down into two parts 1. The herd. 2. What's required to care for the herd, such as buildings, pastures, fencing, and equipment. The herd, a herd is the most important asset a rancher owns, and choosing the right breed of cattle is essential for a successful operation. Think of the cows as employees, the more productive they are, the better positioned a farm is for success. To expand their herd size, and improve their ranch's value, cattle farmers can choose to bring fewer cattle to market, or purchase healthy, high-quality cows with high conception rates good growth rates, minimal feed requirements, and long lifespans. Some ranchers may also cull cows who are not pulling their weight. Property, infrastructure, and equipment. Aside from the cows, there's a lot that goes into raising cattle, including the property, buildings, and equipment. Property with a good water source is essential, as cows spend up to six hours eating, and drink the equivalent of a bathtub's worth of water a day. Cattle ranchers also need a lot of land. It takes between 1.5 to 2 acres to feed a cow-calf pair for 12 months. To successfully raise a healthy herd and cut down on costs, a rancher needs to know how many cows the land can support. Develop a long-term grazing strategy. Grow a high-quality forage. A farmstead is another key component. A home, barn, equipment shed, corrals, and fencing are all essential to running a ranch. Making improvements to existing structures can bolster property value, increase credit, and enhance access to capital. Finally, equipment, such as tractors, balers, trucks, and stock trailers, is necessary for raising cows. Understanding your needs, maintenance costs, and depreciation is critical. Successful cow farmers ask the following question when making a decision about a piece of machinery, is it making or costing money? Equipment and machinery. Depending on the size of your farm, you will need to purchase some equipment and machinery. Determine your farm size, operation type and financial situation to see what you need, for current facilities, equipment and machinery. Fencing, watering facilities, feed bunks or bale feeders, is priority above all other assets needed. Build shelter. Shelter is a must for keeping your animals safe. You will need to build multiple buildings and milking parlor with stanchions if you want to raise dairy cattle. A calf barn and a barn for holding cows is also necessary. On the other hand, Beef cattle require less housing facilities. They will be good if you can just keep them safe inside. Determine the purpose of your cattle farm. Decide the type of cattle you want to raise in your farm. You should select the type according to your budget and production goals. Generally, most people start a cattle farming business, either for milk production or for beef. Raising beef cattle is relatively easy compared to raising dairy cattle. Because raising dairy cattle is much more time-consuming and costly, and dairy cows require more equipment and facilities. Choose breed. Choose your desired breed, after determining the purpose of your cattle farm. There are hundreds of cattle breeds available throughout the world to choose from. But you should consider the availability of your desired breed in your area. You should not choose such a breed that is not available easily in your area. If you are willing to start a dairy cattle farming business, then you can consider some popular dairy cattle breeds. Ayrshire, Brown Swiss, Holstein, and Jersey are some popular and common dairy cattle breeds. In the case of beef production, 
you should consider such breeds which are known for their good temperament, and also which are not labor-intensive. Some good beef cattle breeds are, British White, Galloway, Hereford, Redpole, and Shorthorn. Angus cattle breed is also a good option for beef production, but they can be aggressive and not actually good for beginners. The next part of the video is not specific to a cattle farming business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the cattle farming business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful cattle farming business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? Seven. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan? based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them. Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs, try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. 
To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business, use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for 3 months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion. If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a cattle farming business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free cattle farming business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.